said, how are you doing today? How is your world doing? Are you totally living your best life today? Today is really hard that, that you can just blossom to the fullest. That you can be who you truly are. With all your heart, you totally deserve good, happy, fulfilling, amazing, beautiful life. You are beautiful just the way you are. Today we have brand new method from the book Ask and It's Given by Jerry, by Esther and Jerry Hicks. That are the teachings of Abraham. And we have our process five, the prosperity game. It's interesting. It's very interesting. And if you want to expand your ability to imagine, uh, when you want to add more clarity, to about your desire when you enhance the flow of money when you want to enhance your the flow of money and when you want the flow of abundance to grow even more so it's so simple like you have checkbook and the first day you are receiving 1000 euros we are in europe so we are euros and then you have to spend it all and the next day you receive 2000 euro and when you reach day 50 deposit is 50000 euros or dollars it doesn't matter <laughs> really <laughs> so you will begin that is the beginning that you are establishing an imaginary checking account you will make deposit entries this entries and check withdrawals like you have an actual account here make it as real as possible on the first day the deposit is 1000 euros and spend all those euros uh, you can use one check or you can spend several different things on several different things but spend it today because tomorrow you will be making another wonderful deposit on the second day deposit is 2000 euros on the third day deposit is 3000 uh, euros on the fourth day deposit is 4000 euros so make it as real as possible first day 1000 second day 2000 and then so on and then just spend it spend all that money i am going to practice it tomorrow and i am going to tell you how was it have a beautiful day see you tomorrow how it was bye beloved how are you doing today how is your world doing today we are reading together it's our next step from the book ask and it's given and it's our process number five so prosperity game i just have to tell you that i tried it out and it's fun it's so easy to spend this money and i and get new and new ideas what can i do with this money so we are going to benefit with playing this game but by playing this game that we are going to increase our ability to imagine and um, our ability to imagine will expand tremendously most people offer their vibration almost exclusively in response to what they are observing but by paying this but 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 but, but by playing this game you will find yourself reaching for new ideas and in time you will feel the expansion of your own desire and expectation in doing so you will benefit by shifting your point of attraction and i have to read to you why uh, i have to read to you on 
you see the universe is responding to your vibrational offering, not to your current state of being. So if you are giving your attention only to your current state of being, then your future evolves much the same. But if you are giving focus and attention to these wonderful expanding ideas that this game evokes from you, the universe now responds to the vibrations of those thoughts. That was so beautiful said, because truly when you are doing this imagination, this game, what would you like to spend? How would you like to spend these thousand uh, euros or dollars, whatever is your currency? And today was 2000 euros. It was so much fun. So we are going to see you tomorrow and I'm going to tell you how it goes. Bye. Hello, my beloved. Today is our next day from the books, <laughs> from the one book, Ask and It's Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And we are in our process number five, the prosperity game. And let's go on with theory. I have today to spend 3000 euros and it was a little bit time consuming, but I totally enjoyed how I don't know how to spend 3000 euros. That is a little bit strange. I cannot wait that I am going to do this um, process and I am going to do it for one year and let's see what is going to happen. And I know that I am expanding, that I can with no guilt spend this money and I totally enjoy it. And I am allowing so even more goodness in to my life. So let's go on with theory. I have to read you this. The universe makes no distinction between the vibration you offer in response to what you are living and the vibration that you offer in response to what you are imagining. So this prosperity game process is a powerful tool for shifting your vibrational point of attraction. Just focus on having fun and expansion of your imagination. Your point of attraction will shift that way. You are in state of allowing more goodness, more, more abundance into your life. You are in state of non-resistance. Not only will your financial situation improve, but all manner of things that you have focused upon with pleasure will begin to flow into your experience. Do your best to exercise your imagination and feel good with it. So that was for today. Just do your prosperity game, play it and have fun with it. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hello, my beloved. Today is our next day and we are reading together Ask and It's Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And it's our fifth day, I think, or fourth day, maybe, I feel like. <laughs> Process number five. The prosperity game. I play it now every morning and it's fun. It's fun. I always find something that I can just spend my virtual money, uh, money and it's interesting. I, I just have to read you too. When you are playing with your energy, you are getting better and better at it. You would find a way to continue to evolve in your creative endeavor. And yet, when it comes to the creation that you mold with the clay of the energy that creates words, most of you make no conscious effort, effort to direct your thought. In other words, it is, a, it is as if somebody else took the clay and threw it down there. And now you will spend life just talking about how it looks. Well, that didn't turn out, turned out well. My parents should have done something different about it. 
or the economy should be doing something different than that or there is injustice or unfairness or I don't like the way somebody else dealt with that and we say get your hands in your own clay summon the energy through the power of your desire and mold it in through the power of your imagination so here is important that we don't complain about what was no we have the power that we are creating today how we really want it because and how we are creating our day it's important and we are creating our day when we are thinking about our desire and feeling good about it so see you tomorrow it's our last day of process number five bye <laughs>